Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs. They got what they deserved. Okay, we are on Dandelion's trail here, and with all the women and men that we have spoken to so far, the two things have come come across with every encounter. One, Dandelion was planning something, and two, he was seeing a different woman. Now, of course, he was seeing a lot of different women, but it seems as though there's one particular one which we are referring to here. What's this? Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, no much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. He'd not seen hide nor hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines of dubious worth. Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's have at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Ah, uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Hmm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fervor. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. Hmm, Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Okay, so we finally found out who it was Dandelion has been seeing. Now again, he saw a lot of women, but it seems as though, well, this one's a little bit special to him. You know, I don't know. It seems as though, it seems as though our little dwarven friend was capable of figuring out who this was quite a while ago. So, why wasn't he able to suss out any information about Dandelion? He comes back and he says, like, yeah, I got nothing. It seems though he knew who Priscilla was, and the first person who made mention of her, he probably would have been able to figure it out. So, that leads me to question whether or not, had I disappeared from this quest line, and I gone straight to him beforehand, if, perhaps, he would have been able to come up with this answer earlier. If I wouldn't have had to go and do the whole thing with, with Edna and Rosa, if I had, when I first heard that he was spending time with this blonde woman, had I gone straight to him, could he have told me? You know, I don't know. This game seems to be pretty open about potentially breaking the progression of quest lines a little bit by doing things early and all that kind of stuff. So maybe. But it's also possible that they really wanted you to go and see the Edna and Rosa quest. So I don't know. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berries, tar, lilac sweet. To dream. Boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? Who the fuck it is? It permits me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? 
<laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. And laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well... Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now. At this point, it's really only strongly implied or flat out stated that the reason why Dandelion is so in love with this woman is because she has a similar personality to him. Now he's a playboy, he has lots of women on the line, so it's not surprising that he would have one more, but having one which he would potentially just sort of leave all the other ones for, as though he seems to have in this case, or at least brush them off, must be something special about her. Now it's stated that this is because she has a similar personality to him. Unfortunately, as an American who hasn't played the previous games in the series or read any of the books until more recently, I didn't really have context for this. So it really is only going by stated fact that this woman is similar to Dandelion in terms of personality. I'm not even sure if I could... There's a drunk guy on the floor. <laughs> I'm not really even sure um, I had even known who Dandelion was up until later on in the game when we find out that uh, see him and all that kind of stuff so you know minor complaints but complaints nonetheless 
Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? 